Hello and welcome back to another video. So on today's video, my mission for the day is to try and make some space in this shed here to get the trailer into it. Now, as you can see, lots and lots of firewood in here. Pretty much nothing else. Uh, anyone wants a rotavator, let me know because that thing is driving me mad. It's been sat there for too long. I don't think I'm ever going to use it because I don't think I'm ever going to be able to put it on the tractor. <laughs> um, but it just takes up so much bloody room back there. Um, but yeah, I need to make space in here because I have a very special delivery coming tomorrow and I'm going to need space for it. And I think the only space that I can get in that shed at the moment is the trailer space. So I'm going to get stuck into this today. Uh, I might show you how I'm getting on or just the end product. And um, yeah, I might show you what's, what arrives tomorrow then. Um, and you can see what you think. So I'll get stuck in now anyway. <laughs> So I got up here with the tractor and then as I was about to put the topper on realized I had forgotten the pins. So I drove back down on the tractor, got the pins. Have the topper on now. Just realized I took the top link off the last day because it was in my way when I was putting on the hitch. So now I have to walk down because I'm not taking the topper off to drive down. And it's only a three minute walk. But, oh God, I'm so annoyed. So yeah, I'm gonna get walking.
impressed enough with my trailer driving, I must say, because um, this is a tight doorway. Um, very tight. Can you see it from here? So that's all I was working with, you know, um, which isn't much. Uh, so I was very happy. Like, obviously, it took a few goes, um, but not so many at all. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'm actually getting places. I am until then next year again when I've forgotten everything that I've, you know, clicked this year. But um, that's it. What do I need to do now? I need to go and tidy the shed below another little bit, even though it's pretty good. Um, I need to go down and move the cows just into some fresh grass. So I need to grab a reel and the gator and some pins. And then I think I'm just going to go up to the ones above and... Um, wait until tomorrow and uh, we'll see what arrives. So yeah, I'll leave it there for today anyway and uh, we'll catch up again tomorrow. Now, my special delivery has arrived. Um, the night it arrived, I completely forgot to record, but to be honest, it was pitch dark anyway. So I probably wouldn't have gotten much footage anyway. Um, and I have been playing around with it a bit yesterday. I lost most of that footage. I don't know what I did. Um, but I have a bit that I'll put in in a minute, but for now, this is what it is. I hope the lighting is good enough. I'll give you a proper look there in a minute anyway, but it is an Everrun ER408T. So basically it's a loader, four wheel drive. Look, it's got a grab. It's got a grab. Um, so thank you so much to Mary and James at Everrun Ireland Limited for um, sending me out one of these on demo. Um, it's amazing. Um, obviously herself is going nowhere. Uh, she's still there, don't worry. Um, but this should really just help me out um, with the bales over the winter. Um, I also got a bucket with it, so it should be ideal for cleaning out the pen as well. It's a nice tidy size. Well, like initially I was like, oh my God, it's huge. But in fairness, when you're in it and when you're driving it, um, it's nice. It's nice for this size of shed. Um, it definitely is. I'll give you a proper look there in a minute because I know the camera mirrors things anyway. But I'll give you a look in the cab and all that because, oh, it's just such luxury compared to what I'm used to. So, yeah, with it, I got the grab, I got a bucket and I got pallet forks as well. So yesterday I was just messing around with it, putting on and off the attachments, just to try and get used to it. And I moved those two up to the old farmhouse just to give me a bit of space in here because this is the one I want to get used to mainly because there's a little bit more to it than the other ones and I think if I don't use it for a while knowing me I'll forget and um, so it'll get its first proper run out now next week because we're testing the cattle we'll have them in well most of them in for a few nights, so we'll have a couple of bales to bring in. So, um, yeah, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure the first one or two, I'll um, probably be struggling a little bit, knowing me. But it's just because I've never used one of these before, obviously. So I'm just not entirely sure where to grab the bale or what. But I see people doing wonderful things with it. So um, yeah, it should make life a lot easier. So look. I'll give you a look around it. I'll put in the little bit of a clip of me um, putting on the pallet forks and stuff just so you can see it in action today. And um, yeah, we'll go from there then.
so that's just a very quick look at it anyway and look you're going to see plenty of it over the winter anyway with me um, feeding and all that and then closer to the springtime with the pen cleaning that out so um, it's going to get plenty of use anyway um, especially if my dad has anything to do with it because he has a list as long as his arm of things that he wants me to do <laughs> with this loader so um we'll see what we can get done but look i suppose he's just thinking oh, i've been wanting to do that for two years but haven't because you know the 135 couldn't lift it or whatever it might be moving things around and things like that so this is going to be great you know it, it'll just mean we can do those few bits that we wouldn't really be able to do ourselves we probably have to get somebody in to do it or what tends to happen is it just gets left there and we say we'll do it eventually so yeah he's um he's very much looking forward to seeing this in action as well anyway um i'm a bit apprehensive of as always because i suppose i've never really driven anything but the 135 before um so it's just going to be getting used to it i suppose so if anybody can tell me how to use this grab to do the silage that'll be great <laughs> um, but no I will figure it out myself now next week uh, hopefully well you can give me some advice as well if you want I'll probably have put in a few bales before you see this anyway but um, yeah I'm sure I'll figure it out look it's like everything I'll just have to do it a few times probably um, until I until I get it um, I love this cab so much. It is just so comfy. I'm here sitting like I'm in an armchair up in the house. I've got my armrest. I've got my headrest. Um, it's just super comfy. The seat is adjustable. The steering wheel is adjustable. I've got my joystick. I never thought I'd have a joystick. It's amazing. Um, I've got radio. I've got a fan up here. I've got a heater. I've got a flashing beacon. I'll have to show you the flashing beacon before I finish up as well <laughs> um, because yeah I have a working window wiper actually I don't even have a window wiper on the 135 I have one on this and it works um, mirrors I have a rear view mirror I have wing mirrors something I'm not used to on the tractor I'll have to get used to using them now it's the only thing I'm so used to just <laughs> turning back but um yeah look um i think anybody who's followed me on other things for a while instagram and tiktok will have seen me some dark evenings there with the 135 and no lights and i'd have the flashlight in one hand and i'd be trying to steer and work the controls with the other hand um trying to get a bail out because i couldn't see where i was or what i was doing so that alone is just going to to be such a time saver and an energy saver I suppose as well so I'm so delighted to have this really looking forward to putting it through its paces as well and thanks again so much to Everrun Ireland uh, Mary and James because um, it's unbelievable um, yeah I won't go into too much detail on it today obviously I'll be giving you bits and pieces on the spec and stuff like that over the next few videos and of course over the winter and if you have any questions as well of course do let me know there is a dealer in Abbey Dorney in Kerry as well so he's only back the road for me really um so that's there as well if anybody is interested um but yeah this yeah, this is going to make a massive difference to me over over the winter. So I'm going to leave this video there. I just wanted to give you a quick look at it. Um, before my next video, you're going to say, what is that um, doing in the yard? But yeah, it is actually me who's going to be driving it. So um, look at my flashing beacon, so cool. Um, but anyway, I'll leave it there for today and look, Thanks to Mary and James, obviously from Everrun Ireland, but thank you to everyone who watches me here on YouTube because without this, there's no way any of this would be possible. So thank you so much again. Thanks again for watching. If you liked it, give me a like, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you.